Okay, we're going to have a little look at how to do a partitioning method for a subtraction sum. So as you can see, I've written my sum down there, and the first thing to do is to partition the two numbers with the larger number on top. So... Like that. Um, we need to start with the units. Always need to start with the units when you do a subtraction sum and an addition sum. So we're doing 2, subtract 4, which we can't do in real life. So we have to move a 10 across from the tens column. So the 2 becomes 12. 12, subtract 4, is 8. Onto the tens. 10, subtract 30. Again, in real life, you can't do that. So move 100 across. The 800 becomes 700. The 10 becomes 110. 110, subtract 30, is 80. Finally, the 100s. 700, subtract 200, is 500. Recombine that. We've got 500. And 88 is our final answer.